So this is ready and uh, I'm feeling a crowd. What part of, what town is this? Say it again. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna do a quick video right quick. Let me know when it's my turn, okay? I'm gonna do a quick video um, because I'm having uh, Ghanaians who are interested in digital money come listen to me speak at the Marriott Hotel by the airport, the bomb port. You're welcome to come by if you want. As a matter of fact, if you want to come by, let me know. I'll send a car to come get you. Okay? You have my number here. So you can reach me on WhatsApp. Today at 7.45 tonight. Okay? And we're going to talk about money. Why the Ghanaian CD, this is 20 CDs. Okay? I'm going to explain why the Ghanaian CD is so weak and just blows away like paper compared to the dollar. So take that 20 CDs. Okay, 20 CDs is worth about a dollar sixty, dollar seventy U.S. dollars. Is that about right? Okay. Now, the reason is because a lot of people think this has value. Does this have value? Is this worth something to you? But it's not. This is nothing because it's just paper. It represents. It represents something. It's just a paper. It's just paper, but it represents what the economy, what the country has made. Okay? When people don't have confidence in what the country has made, this goes down. Okay? When people have a lot of confidence in what the country has made, what happens to this? It goes up. Okay, which is bigger, the Ghanaian army or the U.S. army? Yes. U.S. <laughs> That's why the U.S. dollar is stronger. Yes. Economy, which economy is bigger, the Ghanaian or the U.S.? U.S. US. So U.S. dollars are worth a lot to Ghanaians, but here's the secret. Here's the secret that most people don't know. Hold that for me. Right? The secret is that the U.S. dollar has the same problem that the Canadian CD has and almost all government currencies and that is that it goes down in value all the time this okay is a ten dollar coin from 1884 about 150 years ago it's made out of gold pure gold is one half ounce this ten dollars bought one half ounce 150 years ago today it takes about $1,050 to buy this coin. That means that U.S. dollar has went down that much in value. That much. So gold has stayed the same, but the U.S. dollars have dropped. Just like the Ghanaian CD, the Nigerian Naira, the South African Rand, the, uh, the uh, Francophone country in France, etc. So my idea is to take the Ghanaian CD and back it by all the gold that's underneath Ghana. Because Ghana is the biggest producer of gold in the entire continent of Africa. Africa is the biggest producer of gold in the world as a continent. Now, Ghanaian CDs were backed by gold, and gold is so much stronger than the US dollar and the euro and the pound and the yen, then Ghana will have the strongest currency in the world. And everybody will want to do business in Ghanaian CDs instead of dollars, etc. That's what I want to teach everybody to do with my technology. Tonight, 7.45 p.m. at the Marriott Bond Vibe Hotel. Okay? And you are coming. What's your name? I'm Esther. Nalaya. No, no, I don't want Esther. I want your Ghanaian name. Okay. What's your Ghanaian name? Nalaya. 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 <laughs> Nalaya. Come here. Yeah. Nalaya. Okay. <laughs> See you tonight, okay? Okay. Okay.